Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We are here at the Builder's Brawl just outside of St. Louis. I'm joined by Justin Willis, and behind us is his 1971 Nova with a 540 cubic inch twin turbo big block Chevy, and it's our Engine of the Week. Engine Builder's Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade, Precision Performance Pengrade, always the original green oil. L-Ring DOS Original, leading technology, leading service. And NPW and Engine and Performance Warehouse, for all your parts needs. Justin, thanks so much for giving us some time here. No Day problem, one Greg. of the Builders Brawl. Got your uh, orange Nova back here with an awesome twin turbo big block Chevy, and we'd love to know some more details about it. Definitely, Greg. So if you would, you know, walk us through uh, starting with the engine, just you know what you guys have done with it, and you know what you got in it. Definitely, I appreciate it, Greg. It's yeah. a, it's a, as you said, big block Chevy, 540 cubic inch. It's a short deck, so a 9.8 deck. Okay. Big Chief motor, so it's got uh, some 18 degree Big Chief heads on it. Um, it's come a long way with those cylinder heads, but this setup's fresh, so it's got a. A billet, Rodex billet crank, um, aluminum rods, four 500 bore pistons in it. Okay. 12 to 1 compression, so it's healthy compression. It's on alcohol, so that obviously helps with that. Very good. Um, the big chief heads, custom Steve Morris cam, okay. fuel injection with 16 injector setup on it, and a mechanical belt drive pump and twin Pro Mod 88s makes it all work okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very good. And, yeah. and where are the turbos from? Uh, those are Garrett actually. So okay. they're the old Gen 1 Garrett turbos I bought used from a an old radio guy and they've been way faster than I'll ever need to go with them on small tires. So yeah, yeah they do the job really well. It makes uh, on 20 pounds of boost, it'll make uh, almost 2000 horsepower. Awesome. So it, yeah, it I was runs just gonna good. ask like, how much boost you typically run. And... Yeah, the, we're limited by tire most of the time, you know, okay. it's on the small yep. tire deal. Um, like I said, we typically run between 17 to 25 pounds of boost in that range, depending on the track surface and whatnot. Okay. So Very good. it's a lot of fun, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's awesome. How about uh, some of the valve train stuff? You mentioned the, the Steve Morris cam. Yeah, uh, Steve Morris spec cam, uh, right around 800 lifts, so nothing wild, you know yeah. what I mean? Definitely, um, I built the car with the intention to possibly be able to drive it on the street. If life gets too busy and, and whatnot, I can take it out and cruise it around town a little bit. It does have a radiator in it. Okay. Um, but yeah, Steve Morris cam, Jessel, shaft mount rockers, and uh, titanium valves throughout the motor, which were all fresh last year. Like I said, we just built, just built this all motor last year after we blew up the last one, so. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's pretty new. Um, it's got an old school Edelbrock intake on it that uh, had six, had eight injectors originally, and we, like I said, we converted it over to 16 injectors, and uh, it's on a Fuel Tech ECU. Okay. So very good. Yeah, it shoots really well. Now uh, you mentioned you kind of teased that you'd like to do some drag and drive stuff. So yeah. With the Fuel Tech ECU, can you switch between uh, definitely fuel types and different tunes? And yeah, yeah, yeah. The drag and drive will probably be my other car, which has Fuel Tech also. Okay. But yeah, you can, uh, I believe it's five tunes on the fly. So you can set up different tunes, especially Rocky Mountain Race Week out there in Colorado. That's right. where we're from. Right. You know, you can go from 10,000 DA and drop down to those lower level tracks down to 3,000. So you gotta be able to change the tune and sure enough, you can just select it right there and, yeah. and uh, make, make it super easy, man. I, Fuel Tech has been awesome customer support for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, that's pretty uh, awesome what, what those types of uh, ECU units are capable of these days. That's, that's the only way you can make the power nowadays. Sure. Those ECUs are just so good. Yeah. You know? So Justin, we ran through a majority of the engine. How about anything else in the car that uh, you might have done some work on or just anything you'd like to mention? Um, yes, it's got a Power Glide Trans in it. That's got a PTC bolt together converter and a nine inch, of course. It's got 360 gears. Uh, we changed those when we went to the small tire. And uh, we actually just finished. We left uh, Colorado at four in the afternoon yesterday and got here at seven this morning, drove all night because we were finishing all the front suspension is completely yeah. custom that we built a long travel set. It's got like 13 inches of front wheel travel right now. Okay. So more than most people's Raptors. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of the, the winning prize right now. Hopefully we can do some more, a lot more no prep, which is all we do anyway, but like, you know, back of the track stuff and, and whatnot, it seems to be becoming pretty popular. So yeah. hoping really competitive in those things. Very cool. Well, yeah. uh, I got a 
clarify it with Joe Zoper whether you guys have been the longest uh, you know trip here to uh -oh. the competition this weekend. Yeah, I think you said something. Someone was coming 19 hours, and uh, you mentioned 14. Yeah, they beat us. So, yeah, it was. I think Google close, said 12, so they yeah. definitely got us beat. 19 hours. Where'd they come from? I yeah, wonder. I, I don't know. I'd have wow. to ask them. But uh, yeah. you know, coming from Denver and you know Colorado Springs area, that's certainly impressive. And yeah. Uh, uh, speaking of that, you know, you're certainly hoping that you do well out there on the sure. track. Tell us a little bit about what you're expecting to, to do out there. Um, honestly, like I said, it's brand new suspension setup. So we, we were having a lot of problems with our 60 foot. It would roll out the back pretty well. Um, we'd actually won No Prep King small tire last year in Denver, um, but 60 foot was really hard for us. So I decided to make a shock change, which turned into building everything, new control arms, custom spindles, custom everything on the deal. Yeah. So we really want to get that dialed in. I mean, we should be able to go some fours, hopefully pretty easy. Awesome. So that's our goal. And obviously go some rounds, have fun. Yeah. I mean, we love to win, but uh, if you don't, we're just here to enjoy it too. Yeah, absolutely. So, absolutely. Definitely. Gorgeous Nova. Thank you. Awesome twin turbo, big block Chevy. Thank you. And uh, wish you the best of luck this weekend. Awesome. Thank you, Greg. I thanks really so appreciate it. Thanks so much for the time. Yeah, yes, sir. Guys, thanks so much for checking out Engine of the Week. Make sure you're going to Engine Builder Mag for more engine content. We appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you guys next time.